On today's cook, I'll be cooking on this $10,000 grill. It is extremely challenging for a few reasons. First of all, I'll be cooking every single steak I have available. Now I'm used to cooking steaks, but usually it is done on my category which cost about $300. It's reliable, easy to use, and I love it. So when my friend Greg from Ballistic Barbecue gave me this grill, I was shocked. But at the same time, he said it is not easy to cook on it. And to explain a little bit better on how this grill works, here's Greg. The grill that Guga is going to be using today is an Argentine grill made by Centera Pro. Instead of using charcoal, this grill uses wood. This isn't the type of cook where you're going to be able to drive off to the store and buy some more ingredients. You need to sit in front of it and just continually monitor the cook itself. If you're not paying attention, things can get out of hand really quick. Wow, now I'm nervous. First up, to learn the grill. I started by adding charcoal. Once it was lit, I immediately added some logs. Now the thing here, we want to let it burn for a little bit. Once I had some coals, I dragged them to the bottom of the grill and it was now ready to cook. I wanted to start with something easy. So I went ahead and added some sausages. These are Argentinian style sausages, also known as chorizo. And we also got to get some appetizers out of the way. This is called provoleta. Let me explain how I made it. Everything starts off with provolone cheese. Whenever you're in the deli, just ask for a nice thick cut. Then I placed them on a cast iron skillet, added a good amount of garlic with olive oil, followed by oregano and smoked paprika. Now that it's ready, we're gonna cook it nice and slow since it's cheese with some chorizo. <laughs> All we're looking for is for the cheese to melt. And on this grill, it took about five minutes. Next thing to do is to go ahead and take it off the skillet. Then you wanna flip it around and immediately cut it up like a pizza. Now that is an easy and simple side dish to make. Talking about that, in 10 minutes, my sausages were ready. So I decided to make something that is called choripan. That is pretty simple. A good quality bread, sausage, and chimichurri sauce. These are always a party pleaser. And I'll tell you one thing, things are about to get a little bit complicated. As the the next thing we're gonna cook is this, the queen of all meats, picanha. To get it seasoned, I kept it real simple. I only used salt and black pepper, nothing else. One of the most important things you gotta remember is to season it well. This is a thick cut of meat, and since it's gonna take a long time to cook, outside we go. The picanha is nice and ready, we're gonna put it on the grill. We wanna cook it slowly. So let's go ahead and prepare our next meat. And I'm talking about these, two beautiful Wagyu tomahawk steaks. And to season it, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. Now I wanted an additional flavor on this, so for that I used my barbecue rub. Now my steaks are ready. Again, we're gonna cook these nice and slow since it's very very large. Now I don't want to direct the heat, I'm gonna go ahead and raise it. And we'll continue to maintain the fire, however, let's go get some more stuff. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on a tomahawk steak, this is your next option. It is literally the same exact thing, however, the bone is much smaller, and I like to call these cowboy ribeyes. For the seasoning, I did a little bit different than the previous one. Only salt and pepper and nothing else. Cowboy steaks, everybody. We gotta add some now. Come on. Now let's work on steaks that are gonna cook much faster. Let me show you the next thing we're gonna be cooking up, and it will be these. Beautiful flank and short rib. For the seasoning, I only added salt, nothing else. And since it's super thin, they will cook quickly. And in order to fight the richness, I went ahead and prepared some chimichurri. All the ingredients will be on the link on the description down below for you. As now that it was ready, it was time to cook. And immediately placed in all of my flank and short ribs. These cook quickly. Now to finish it up, I just added a good amount of chimichurri right on top. And this is what I was left with. Good looking, delicious Wagyu short ribs. To serve it, I just like to chop them up. And I mean, take a look at it. Whenever people take a bite, it is a crowd pleaser. And even my cousin Mamao loves to steal the whole thing. It is fantastic. Talking about that, I wanted to go ahead and cook up some Wagyu picanha. Because remember, the other one's still cooking nice and slow. But this is how I like to serve picanha, as steaks. And since it's a thick cut, we want to make sure to season it properly. As now that it was ready, it was time to take it outside. It is quite challenging to cook on this grill. You gotta constantly be flipping the steak. You need to be watching it at all times. You need to raise and lower the grill grates. Constantly be adding more logs. And pay attention to everything that is happening. This grill is no joke. But I can continue to go ahead and cook this picanha. I kept flipping it as many times as necessary to make sure that it was evenly cooked. And in the end, I took it inside and take a look. We got a nice beautiful crust and I cannot wait to slice it open and taste. And as soon as I did, oh wow. This thing is juicy to the max. If you think this is raw, you could not be more wrong. It is the best way to enjoy this cut of meat. Because I'll tell you one thing, it's gonna be the best experience of your life. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you. Delicious. Greg, what do you think? It came all the way from San Diego to try this. 
<laughs> and it's good. Just an incredible flavor on that beef. So beefy, so savory, so juicy. You guys tasted a lot of different kind of meats, especially done with charcoal. But when you cook it with wood fire, everybody, it's different. Yeah. Half of it is already gone. Okay, that's just appetizers. We still got a lot more, everybody. You gotta have way more than that. The tomahawks are looking very nice, everybody. It's time to flip. Oh, we're getting some nice, beautiful color on this thing. I'm gonna do the same thing with the ribeyes as well. And our picanha is coming along. Now here we have one of the most popular things that most people order on a steakhouse, filet mignon. And even though a lot of people says that it lacks in flavor, it makes it up with tenderness. To cook a filet mignon on this grill, it's gonna be challenging. That's because it's a super thick cut of meat. I kept the seasoning quite simple with salt, freshly ground black pepper, and garlic powder. As you can see, once I was done, it was perfectly seasoned, including the edges. So outside we went to cook it. I got the grill real hot and started to get the sear. Now since filet mignon is quite dry, I went ahead and combined some butter, garlic, and time together. This will allow me to baste it constantly and flipping the steak little by little. Once I was happy with the sear, I threw them in the cast iron skillet with the butter, moved them around and just kept doing it until I reached the internal temperature I desired. And I mean, take a look at these steaks. I got a nice crust. It is slightly charred up and at the same time, as soon as I sliced it open, that looked delicious. It is the perfect steak that will please anyone. Talking about that, there was one person that claimed it for himself. I mean, we cannot blame him. And it's Greg's son. He was enjoying this thing so much that he did not even want to share. I mean, if I was in his shoes, I would not do it either. Now, after about almost two hours, my tomahawk steaks were ready. Now, you gotta remember, this is the first time I'm cooking on this grill, and I had a lot of success, but these tomahawk did not look as good as I wanted to, and that's because of one reason. I wasn't paying that much attention on them. I was focusing on cooking the smaller steaks, and if you don't pay attention on this grill, it will slap you in the face. But I went ahead and started carving it and as I did take a look at the slices it is not as even as I would like so I wasn't sure if I messed it up or if it was gonna be good so outside we went to give it a try cheers my mouth so tender as soon as you take a bite out of it the juices just burst right out of there that's incredible the fibers just separate and then it's just a waterfall of flavor it's funny everybody because this is not evenly cooked a little bit more rare towards the bottom and that's kind of my fault because i didn't flip it enough the thing with this grill is you're constantly working on it hands-on action i guess even though it was not perfectly cooked everyone still enjoyed talking about that the only thing left was the picanha to finish it off i decided to go ahead and put a nice sear on it using real fire and in the end this is what i was left with now the only thing left was to go ahead and slice it up nice and thin and you can clearly see that we got medium rare but at the same time my question is which one is better is it to cook it this way or the previous one where we made it in steaks well we're about to find out right now because now I say it is enough talking and it is time for me to tell how good or bad this grill really is all right everybody here we got our final dish gentlemen we got Greg over here Mama Zing thank you for being here guys I appreciate it thanks for the invite absolutely thanks for having me Are you guys full a little bit yeah got a little bit of the meat sweats going on right now <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing with this grill, you know, we cooked a lot of meat, everybody. It was very nice, an incredible experience. Thanks for actually bringing that over to me, Greg. I appreciate it. My pleasure, and I'm looking forward to seeing you put that thing to use. Absolutely. Got to see a lot of it today. I will say this, it's a lot of fun to cook with it. Yeah. But it's not fun until we try the queen. Are you guys ready for it? We've already had the king today. I know, we actually had a queen before, but this is another queen. <laughs> Please dig in. Also, thanks for the chimichurri, Greg. Oh, you're welcome. Impressive. Mama Zing, the people want to know where you've been, Mama. I've been working. <laughs> Mama is too busy, everybody. You don't got time for videos no more. You doesn't even come see my me anymore, Mama. Uh, ah, too many. Too far away. You guys have too many babies, and now he's taking care of the family, and he doesn't come make videos, everybody. But I'm still around. I'm gonna try to come up more often. They miss you, Mama, and so I did I, Mama. Too, man. You better appear, Mama. <laughs> I'm just busting Mama, everybody. My cousin right here. All right, sorry about that, Greg. While you guys were mowing, I, I had a, I I had a piece of it. <laughs> Enough talk, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Picanha is delicious, but would you guys prefer more this method or the steak? I think I like the steak better. I agree. I'm in agreement. I love picanha, but you're right. You get the sear, that Maillard reaction. Yeah. Yeah. On, when you cook it as a steak. Yes. And how should you cut it? Absolutely cut it with the grain with first the grain. and then against the grain. But that chimichurri is delicious, Greg. Thank you. Is that you came out of you or you put combinations together? What was the idea behind this? I mean, when they think of chimichurri, they think of green chimichurri, but mm. a lot of people don't realize that Argentina 
Valentino also has a red chimichurri. 100 percent, yeah. That just inspired me to start looking at all these different recipes, and I kind of took every, uh, things I liked out of different recipes and merged them all into one. It is delicious, everybody. The recipe will be on the description down below. What do you guys think about today's experience? What did you think, Greg? It was amazing, and thank you for allowing my son to be part of it. Oh, yeah. He really liked yeah. that uh, filet mignon, huh? Uh, yeah, he's a filet killer. What do you think, Mama Zing? And then you add Greg's chimichurri, and you're saying chimichurri, my mouth is already like waterfall. It's a waterfall of flavor. Yes. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys go check out Greg. Everything will be in the description down below. He is one of the pioneers of barbecue. Before I started YouTube, I was watching you, Greg. I know. We've known each other a long time. We've known it. We old, everybody. We real. That's what he's trying to say. But we're not that old, Greg. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mama. We miss you. We miss you. Welcome back, my Mama, you've been here all this time. It's not on camera, everybody. Every weekend, Mama is here. You don't think Mama is here to eat some meat? You're wrong. <laughs> what kind of person do you think I am? Stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.